The nine people were arrested locking construction equipment at the site of Weymouth's new natural gas compressor station. The whole project has been controversial from the beginning. Enbridge is the company trying to build the site to connect two existing natural gas pipelines in the aim, they say, of expanding their delivery of natural gas to Canada and New England. There are currently five compressor stations in the state, but people opposed to this project say the site is being built in a populated area. If there were to be an accident, many people could be hurt. And they also cite environmental issues already existing in the area and a double down on the use of fossil fuels. So joining us tonight is Alice Arena, the executive director of the Four River Residents Against the Compressor Station. Alice, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Liam. There are, as we were saying, five other compressor stations in the state. Why fight so hard against this one? this particular one. Right. So if we just take sort of the local viewpoint of this particular compressor station, it is in one of the most populated locations that you could put a compressor station. Usually the gas transmission compressor stations, so these aren't just the little ones that go from here to there. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that are pushing along long lines of pipeline. They're put in areas that are far less populated. They're put on, well, even Enbridge testified under oath. They needed 10 acres to build a facility like this. Mm -hmm. This is 4.3 acres. Mm -hmm. So they need a lot of acreage, usually 50 acres to 100 acres, which means your populations are like much further away. We have houses that are within 500 feet of mm -hmm. this transmission compressor station. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing is an urban population. Now Enbridge of course misspoke on their applications and said it was rural. I'm sure you've been to Quincy. I'm sure you've been to Weymouth. Not rural. Uh, not rural. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that you know is one of the biggest problems. The other problem is we have environmental justice neighborhoods in Quincy Point, Germantown, and census tracts in Bra East Braintree right now that are environmental justice. These are working class neighborhoods. These are neighborhoods that have the EJ status. Uh, people have things like they don't speak English, may not be their first language. Um, they are sick. We have a lot of illnesses down there, cancers, heart disease, COPD, lung and bronchus issues. Uh, education levels may not be the same. They're working class neighborhoods. Mm. And, you know, they just keep dumping facilities like that in working class neighborhoods. This has passed state and federal government approval. How could it have passed those if it weren't safe? Um, I've had more than one uh, political person tell me recently that the system is so rigged that there's really hardly any way around it. That the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission in Washington is nothing more than a rubber stamp organization. They've never met a pipeline they didn't like. That the DEP could have stopped this permitting and they did not. And so we've taken them to federal court to say, you got it wrong. You had regulations that you ignored. You ignored us. The adjudicator even said that the process was unfair to the plaintiffs. Mm. So with the Virginia decision, now it's a little bit different because the environmental justice laws in Virginia are a little bit different. But the decision was so similar that the court said, you cannot ignore environmental justice, which is what the company did. And if you read the original environmental assessment from Enbridge, they just said, we don't have to care about that. We invited Enbridge on the program. They declined, but they did offer us this statement saying, we don't tolerate unsafe or illegal activities at our work sites or facilities. Enbridge will support the prosecution of criminal activity in the interest of safety and respect for those potentially impacted. They go on, we are committed to proceeding with construction activities and operating the Weymouth compressor station with public health and safety as our priority and in accordance with all applicable regulations and requirements. How do you respond to that statement from Enbridge. So I respond by saying we are within our First Amendment rights to have nonviolent civil actions. These will continue. Uh, this is not something we're going to stop. We have gone the route of being completely legal, of going through every system that we can possibly go through. The Energy Facilities Siting Board of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts said this is the wrong location. All right. Seven times on the docket of FERC, they said this same thing. And Enbridge said, we don't care. 
Mm. We don't care. And as far as them being concerned about our health and our safety, please. They have absolutely no consideration for our health and our safety. Because if they did, and I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus, you'd put it out in a place that wasn't so close to an urban population that is already sick. Alice Arena, Executive Director of the Four River Residents Against the Compressor Station, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me on.